one very uh, a big must to be part of the program and to be at ABG is to be a self starter because the place allows you to do what you really do very well. So no one's going to come and tell you, you know, do this. So you need to be a self starter. I think that's very important. I'm Uday. Uh, I've been uh, with uh, the group for over eight years now. Uh, joined from IIM Bangalore in 2008. Uh, well, I did work for more than four years prior to that. Uh, here I've been with the telecom business in several roles. Uh, fortunate enough to get uh, good moves. A lot of trust shown by managers. I've been in strategy, been in operations, I've been in marketing. Currently, I am uh, leading a transformation project on digital. So we are trying to, you know, ground up, build a very fresh and very customer-centric experience on digital platforms, our own assets, website and the app. That's what I'm leading and it's a very exciting project. Yeah. I can think of three very good reasons why someone should be at ABG, you know. Uh, for me, the most important thing is it's a very value-driven organization. So no one is ever going to ask you to do something which is wrong, either morally or legally. So it's, it's a... It's a very uh, ethical and uh, great place to work in that sense. Um, I think next, what uh, uh, what's a great uh, thing for me on why someone should work here is that it constantly likes to challenge itself. Something new is happening all the time. You never take the status quo uh, as a good place to be. So I think that that's very exciting. And lastly, um, success and profitability are very, very important to us. So it, it also leads to growth. So I think these map two personal uh, attributes as well, growth, learning and you know peace of mind. So I think that's a good reason for me to be at ABG. Yeah. It's a very stable organization, both ABG and Idea Cellular where I have been. So what comes with stability is that there are a lot of people and process who've been around for a while, which also kind of brings in a bit of resistance and a bit of inertia. So, um, so, so you need a lot of drive sometimes, you know, shake people up and say, hey, you know what, probably this is not the most customer-centered things or the reality outside has changed and uh, so that that's one of the challenges, I guess. Um, for me, I think uh, as part of the ABGLP program, what also comes is that uh, you're carrying a certain, it's not just yourself you're speaking for. When you're acting and behaving, you're also representing a larger ABGLP community. So, no one will say, Uda is like this, Achha, ye ABGLP aise hote. so, you know, it's an ad additional dual responsibility, your equity and the program's equity. The current project, uh, I think, is a very challenging and exciting uh, phase for me because I'm personally learning something very new. Uh, and while the learning is very fast, uh, here both technology and consumer behavior is also changing very fast and that makes it very challenging and a very exciting project for me. Yeah, sure. So if I were to go back in my time at ABG the last eight years and do something differently, uh, I'd really stick my neck out a lot more. You know, I take, uh, I'd, I'd take a lot more risks. Now I see and I feel that you know I've not taken enough risks. I think I would take a lot more initiatives because the managers really trust you and let you just do your thing if you show them your homework and all the background data and everything. So One, I think they need to have a lot of appetite for ambiguity, for absorbing ambiguity and, you know, proactively tackling it uh, and a lot of appetite for taking initiatives. I think that's the key. Um, not just because the business situation and the environment warrants it, but that's what the program is all about. They need to be able to make a difference. It's not, a, it's not just another management training program. I think so, uh, candidates who are either looking for those kind of challenges or if they're aspiring to be part of the program, then they need to really develop and say that, you know what, I want to be a risk taker, I want to take a lot of initiatives. That, the ability to challenge seniors, not just peers and subordinates and influence all of them. I think that, that would be a very big thing. And then of course, table stakes is their bias for action, being able to get results and uh, uh, knowing about their subject knowledge. I don't know, I, I think it's a no-brainer, I think it's in India. It's India. I mean, uh, it's the diversity, you know, the hunger to, you know, achieve and grow. Still, there's a bit of chaos, but we know we're never going to give up. It's an open mind. You get everyone in, you learn a lot, and then you give back. Yeah.